guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another speed build. Today, I am building another installment of the Squish. We are building a tiny home today, and this is one that's been on my to-do list, and I've actually attempted probably three or four times, and then scrapped it, and it never came to the channel over the last year or so. So, we have this 20 by 20 lot. This is Ward Park in Del Sol Valley. And I've always been not sure what I wanna do with this space. I guess you could make it into a small park, but it just seems like out of place in the middle of Del Sol Valley. So I had the idea that maybe we could make some kind of sculptural tiny house. So it's a tiny house, but it really looks like an art piece in the middle of this city. I was thinking maybe a rich architect just wanted to build himself or themselves a home in the middle of Del Sol Valley, and that was kind of the idea. So I mentioned I have tried this a couple different times and scrapped it. I've probably made the same concept at least three or four times, uh, but I decided to give it another go a week or so ago while I was streaming over on Twitch. So you might recognize this if you were in my Twitch stream and if you want to see the whole process because there's a ton of footage that was cut out of this, I will have a link down below to the stream re-upload over on my second channel. Uh, and then also to my Twitch channel if you'd like to follow me over there and hang out sometime in the future when we are working on some builds. So I'm working on landscaping now. The outside really came together pretty quickly. I think my favorite thing is that uh, sculptural piece of, I think they're birds, yeah, they're birds, wrapping around the steps because it's sort of the opposite. At the lower part of the steps is the higher part of the birds and vice versa. I quite enjoyed that. So the bottom floor of this house is a bedroom. You have to go downstairs to get to it, but it's sunken into the ground a little bit and we had some really awkward angles. So I ended up using these shelves to fill those in and create sort of window wells for the windows that are gonna be on the back of the build. I don't think there's ones on the side in the window well, there might be. I don't think they're the same ones though. And then I've been working with some different pavements outside to make it really this centerpiece in the middle of this area. It's really supposed to look like a sculpture. I don't know if I achieved that. I still think it looks like a tiny house, but I had a lot of fun with this concept and I probably never would have built something that looked like this and had all of these different sculptural pieces on the outside if I wasn't going for that specific concept, if that makes sense. I did move the ladder around quite a few times on the inside though because I couldn't figure out where I wanted to have the floor plan going and then I had the ladder in a place that didn't work so your sims actually couldn't use it and it was a whole thing uh, because this is a very scrunched space. <laughs> this is so squished. Uh, but luckily I was hanging out with you guys. This was all done in one stream and so somebody had noticed the ladder wasn't in a right spot. We play tested it. We made sure everything was working and kind of figured it out together, which I thought was really cool, especially everyone in the beginning kind of shouting out some different sculptural pieces from different packs that I might be able to use. Hence why in the beginning of this build, you just saw stuff all over the lot. I was just grabbing things that I was like, maybe we could use this. I have no idea. We're gonna just experiment and see what happens. So there's only really greenery kind of tucked in under the house and and then over in the four corners of the lot and these little window wells as well. See, there's a smaller window here. There's not the big eco lifestyle ones I was using, but I did add these fountains on either side of the build. It might bother some of you. It bothers me slightly that they are not the same size because the house isn't centered on the lot and it's an odd number. So if I moved it over, it wouldn't really help. Yeah, so we're gonna pretend that's not happening. Uh, and then this is the beginning of the floor plan. And then I was like, wait, this isn't gonna work. You can't get down the stairs. It makes more sense to move this around. So this desk ends up going where that roomed off bathroom is. And then the bathroom ends up over here. We should be switching that right now. So uh, yeah, I think this was a suggestion from chat if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, but it worked a lot better. <laughs> I was like, okay, I obviously don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so thank you guys for uh, that suggestion if you were there. And uh, obviously to anyone watching this as well, whenever you guys leave suggestions for builds, it's so appreciated. Uh, I love like collaborating with you guys essentially. It's really fun. Uh, but this is the small kitchen space. We have a mini fridge and a microwave. I've been getting a lot of questions lately 
as to where the mini fridge is from, we got mini fridges with the Discover University expansion pack. Uh, that plant and that trash can go away. <laughs> they, they're just not here later. We get a different trash can in a different location, a different plant, and then a pet bowl, which I'm assuming is for a dog because I didn't add anything for a cat and there's definitely no space for a cat. So I, I don't remember what the thought process was there. I'm sure I talked about it in the stream, but I really don't remember. Um, but over here on this bookcase, I use this as like the shelving unit in the kitchen. So there's some sauces, there's some plants, there's some like cookbooks and some fruits up there as well. I really love this shelving unit that came with Discover, not Discover University. This one came with Eco Lifestyle and I think it is so pretty. I feel like I've been using it a lot lately, but it worked really well for this kitchen space. And that's pretty much the whole kitchen space. There is no stove. <laughs> it's just quick meals here. That's all you get is you get quick meals uh, because all we have is a fridge and a microwave. But I was thinking, like I said, that this was more of an architecture project for somebody who is probably famous in Del Sol Valley for their architecture work. And they just wanted to make a very small space and make it functional, but it didn't have to be like ultra functional. We didn't need a full stove and stuff. There's definitely lots of tiny homes and tiny dorms and things like that that don't have everything and they are still fine because you can still survive here. And that's what the goal of this was. <laughs> so uh, hopefully you guys like it. There is that green, not green, that blue brick that I keep wanting to use and haven't used yet. I didn't end up using it in this build. I used this sort of blue tile. Uh, I think that is from City Living. I might be wrong, uh, but I thought it looked nice in here. I was really enjoying the blue tones and that carpet as well. And then this is the bathroom. It just has a toilet and a shower. You're gonna have to use the sink in the kitchen. So it's pretty squished, but I think we're used to that here on the channel. I do that kind of often. You can definitely fit all three into this space. You can fit all three into just a single tile as long as you're using the university shower. But I personally don't like the way that looks. I think it looks a little bit too squish and I know this is the squish, but uh, I just don't like the way it looks. So I didn't do that, but you can just walk over to the sink in the kitchen. It's not too big of a deal. And then I added that mirror from uh, Jungle Adventure. That's my favorite mirror in the game. I always say that I can't wait until say someday, maybe they give us some more simple modern mirrors like that that are leaning against the wall instead of being mounted on the wall because that would just be fantastic. Uh, but this is the bedroom downstairs. It is pretty much only using tiny living with the exception of the bedside table and a couple of decorations. Uh, the bedside table is from Seasons and uh, the dresser behind the ladder you can't get to. I just put that there because I thought it looked nice and in real life it would make sense that you could access that, but you can access the other one that's right down the steps be or right down the ladder <laughs> because uh, it's, you know, in the space you can walk in. Uh, so I wanted to make sure there was a dresser you could use. And of course you have the mirror upstairs as well. So you have plenty of ways for your Sims to go ahead and change or plan their outfits. So no worries on that. Uh, just getting some more decorations and I'm gonna be adding a wall art piece momentarily. It's from the sculpture category or the, I think it's just wall art, it's not paintings and I use it to sort of frame the mirror over the bed to make it a bit more custom and have more of that sculptural look that I was going for with most of this build. Uh, so you'll see that come together here shortly, but we're going to be coming to the end of the video here now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we're gonna be heading on into screenshots. If you like this video though, if you could give it a big thumbs up, that would mean a lot. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Also, if you would like to download this build, it is available on the Sims 4 gallery. If you search my origin ID, which is Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey, that will all also be linked in the description down below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye guys. <laughs>